of people, friends of mine from Washington and other places, saying that Brett Kavanaugh should be a Supreme Court judge someday. And I'm honored that I gave him the chance. I've watched his his uh, remarks. I've watched his performance. I've watched his statements. And uh, honestly, they've been totally brilliant. I think that uh, the other side is grasping at straws. And really, the other side should embrace him, because you're never going to find better in terms of talent or intellect than what you have in Brett Kavanaugh. Okay. Oh, yeah, sure. He's lying. Sure. No, Bob would No, the book? You mean on the book? Yes, uh, the book means nothing. It's a work of fiction. Already, General Mattis has come out very, very strongly. And I think you know General Mattis. He does what he wants to do. He's a very independent guy. He was insulted by the remarks that were attributed to him. And he came out with a very strong statement. I assume you read it. I hope you read it last night. General John Kelly, the same exact thing. He thought he was insulted by what they said. He's right here. Uh, he's insulted by — he couldn't believe what they said. And he put out a very, very strong statement. And many others. And other statements are coming out. The book is a work of fiction. If you look back at Woodward's past, he had the same problem with other presidents. He likes to get publicity, sell some books. But we have done more as a, an administration than any other administration in already less than two years. It's incredible. We will soon be approaching two years. But there's no administration, probably, and even you folks have generally acknowledged this, that has done more work. When you look at tax cuts, regulation cuts, Supreme Court justices, the court system generally, and so much more, even if you look at the health care programs that we're passing and all of the things we've done, we're saving Social Security. The Democrats will destroy Social Security. We're saving Medicare. The Democrats want to destroy Medicare. You look at what they're doing, they're going to destroy Medicare. And we will save it. We will keep it going. We're making it stronger. We're making Social Security stronger. We're making our whole country stronger. So uh, all you have to do is look at the achievements. But I was very honored when, without my even knowing about it, uh, statements were put out by General Kelly, by General Mattis, highly respected people by everybody, including yourselves. Uh, and the book is a work of fiction. Uh, it's a — it really, if you look at it, it was put out to interfere, in my opinion, at this time, with the Kavanaugh hearings, which I don't think it's done, because so many people have come out against it. So many people who have been written about said that I never said that. Rudy Giuliani is another one. He's very insulted by the book and what was stated in the book. So uh, we run — we do run a strong White House. There's no question about it. And we are doing things that nobody else has ever been able to do. And our country is stronger now than it's ever been. And in a very short period of time, $700 billion being spent on the military the next year, 716, $716 billion. We will uh, actually be far stronger than we've ever been. And that's what we needed to be. Thank you all very much. Oh, we have a great relationship. Uh, first of all, I have a great personal relationship with the Emir, and uh, Kuwait is a place that uh, I've known for a long time. I have many friends that live in, in Kuwait, and they live, frankly, in Washington and New York, mostly, that I know, and I've known them for a long time. Very, very uh, fine people. Our relationship and our bilateral relationship is uh, very, very powerful, very strong. And they view us as uh, a place where they've done very well, and they like to invest their money in the United States. So we like that. So Canada is meeting with us right now as we speak. We have to make a fair deal with Canada. As you know, they charge tariffs of 300 percent on dairy products, which a lot of people never understood. Uh, they have walls up against us uh, doing business in Canada, and yet they come and do business with us. And we can't let that happen. Uh, look, we have a very strong position, and we are the one that people want to come in and take advantage of. They've been taken advantage of, along with it. I'm not blaming Canada. I love Canada. I love the people of Canada. But uh, they and other countries have been taking advantage of the United States for many years, and this is a president that has stopped it. Uh, we've made a deal with Mexico, and Mexico's been terrific to deal with, including their new president, who I spoke with. And I think we're going to have a very good relationship with Mexico going forward. 
And the deal is a much more fair deal between the United States and Mexico, because NAFTA goes down as one of the worst trade deals in the history of our country. It emptied out millions of jobs. It emptied out factories and plants all over the United States. And it was a very unfair deal and a very foolish deal. And in fact, you could say a very stupid deal for the United States to make. We are straightening out these horrible trade deals. As you know, we had 4.1 GDP. It was just raised to 4.2. Nobody thought that was possible. When the trade deals are fixed and made fair, uh, GDP will go even higher and potentially much higher than that. And if you go back to election and go back to campaigning, nobody ever would have said that was possible except me and maybe a few others that believe in me. Thank you all very much. Anything's possible. Anything is possible. We'll see. Are you guys interested in the golf prices? It's been years since you've been talking about Syria. What? North Korea? No, no, no. Syria. When President Assad challenges you, did you say Syria? Yes. He attacked Italy. I think it's a very sad situation in Idlib and the province. What's going on there? It's being surrounded, and they feel they have. 35,000 uh, of their enemy there, and yet you have 3 million people living there. And I just tell you that they will hopefully be very, very judicious and careful, because the world is watching. That cannot be a slaughter. If it's a slaughter, the world is going to get very, very angry. And the United States is going to get very angry, too. Okay? I am watching that very closely. So it's surrounded right now and the province. And it's surrounded by a lot of people with a lot of weapons. And these are innocent people. You have three million, at least, innocent people there. And you have to be very, very careful. And the world is watching, and the United States is watching very closely. Thank you very much, everybody. is fiction. I heard somewhere where they said the assassination of President Assad by the United States uh, never even discussed. The book is total fiction. Just like he wrote in the past about other presidents, you look at what he said about President Bush, what he said about President Obama, big scandalous thing, big. It lasts for about uh, a day. No, that was never even contemplated, nor would it be contemplated. And it should not have been written about in the book. Uh, it's just more fiction. The book is total fiction. Will okay? you sue, sir? All right, guys, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you very much. Are you going to get personally involved? Come on, make your way out. Let's go. Sir, sir, sir. 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 S